The publishers of the book A Thousand Nights asked me to tell you a story. I told them I was sick of stories. I tell myself lots of ridiculous stories. Once I told myself a story about a boy who would love me forever. In fact, I've done that story a few times over, just with different characters and settings. When I was younger, I told myself a story about a girl who would grow up and never get a tattoo. Every January, I tell myself a story about a girl who will go out every morning at 6am and do a half hour jog. She'll eat healthy and lose two stone in two months and everything will be fabulous. That story is particularly outlandish. And yet I love to tell it. I tell myself stories about the future. I tell myself stories about who I will be. And then I tell myself those stories so often that I get scared by them and I stop telling myself stories because I start believing my own stories. Even the good ones are scary because they seem final. So I try to not tell myself stories. Or at least, that's what I thought. Then a friend rang me in the middle of the night and she needed a story. She needed a story with a good ending. So I spun her one. I spun her one in which her family loved her, in which she was okay. In which she went to the place that she wanted to go and she met people that were both terrifyingly stupid and brilliantly awesome. There were devastating moments in the story I'll give you that. But there were high points. Oh, there were high points. I told a story about a girl who built her own family, who wandered through life and bumped into walls and on the way compared bruises with the other people next to her. That, that character was resilient. That character was lively. That character was relentless. And that's the bit I didn't have to make up. And soon I realized that telling stories is the only way that they come true. Telling stories is really the only way you make truth. It's the only way you start to imagine the future. It's the only way you start to believe what will one day be true. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I changed my perspective on stories. Stories can stay.